I'm halfway done with this horse, maybe three quarters of the way done with this horse. I just gotta round up these upper front cheek teeth and scoot them aside. Make sure I get these back teeth just perfect. Finish out the bottom cheek teeth. Let's make sure I've got all the nooks and crannies done. There's a couple edges on the palatal side that I've not addressed yet. Here's the last cheek teeth, upper and side. in the last two to the upper outside. Just make sure I have that rounded bevel beautifully. There's a couple of nooks and crannies. The lower arcade. I, I file and then my finger immediately feels what I've done and determines whether I go back and do some more. There's just a little resistance, but it's no big deal. Now we'll do the other side. Ah, the very last cheek tooth on the bottom, there's just a small sharp edge resting right next to the tongue. Double that out really nicely. Again, the palatal side of the upper cheek teeth. It's what we call squirming the dentist chair. So I just wait, wait till the energy drops. Go back in. A little bit more done. Sometimes you jackknife like this. Now I want to make sure I get the six, seven notch. It's pretty prominent here. Unfortunately, you missed the whole body shake because when I was setting up the camera, the whole body just kind of shook. It's kind of cool. And I was just asking, just allowing, getting a slight touch. Then I start rubbing this area. This is where the sores are. The horse absolutely just loves this. The horse looks drugged, but I promise you there are no drugs anywhere near this horse. That's just total relief. And this is a routine float done every six months. And he just knows 
even though the process may not be the best thing for him, he's kind of ticklish here and there. He's well aware of what he's going to feel like when I'm done. So I'll get a little bit of squirming in the dentist chair as he gets concerned about certain things. So I'll put my hand on here to keep him close and intimate so he knows that I'm with him. I never reward the bad behavior. I always tell him how good he is. There you go. That's it. Equine dentistry without trauma, horsemanship dentistry. That's all it is right there.